Hey guys, take two. I'm gonna try to do this faster. Uh, so I have these OEM connectors on my old bike, my old Japanese bike, and they were wearing out. The old connectors have these tangs on them that wear out the plastic, and eventually when they uh, were worn out enough, I would close the plug, and the whole thing would push one connector out of the back instead of holding the tang, not holding it in place. My connection didn't work. I was overcharging my batteries, blew out two and gravity batteries and an M unit. I got really old doing that. Uh, now, every time I fuck with that plug, I get OCD uh, or uh, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and I have to double check everything with amperage voltage testers and all this uh, bullshit. So I decided uh, getting a new uh, regulator rectifier to chase gremlins that I would also fix the plugs. So I got some revival cycles uh, sold me some Apex 2.8 high amp uh, connectors made by Apex. They used to be made by Delcron as well. You can find them in both uh, names, but they're the same thing. What's cool about these is they have a seal on the back. They have really, really f uh, sharp uh, stabilizing tools uh, or fittings in here that keep everything super aligned so they don't misalign. These things are wiggly uh, and, and everything clicks into place. It's also got a locking mechanism right there. So once you get it together, you can pop that locker thing on there and it ain't coming apart uh, even uh, by accident. Um, but there was no information online. I couldn't find any information on how to crimp it, how to put it together, what went where exactly. Uh, and I had pieced together a whole bunch of information from multiple locations and, and sources. Figured I'd do this video to maybe help the next guy who is uh, looking to do this himself. Um, you can see in my previous take on this video, I popped this one in my broken one. Uh, the Revival guys helped me replace a broken part with a new one. I'm not gonna use the new one, I don't wanna mess it up. But in my experiment, I discovered that it works with the locking me mechanism stuck in place. Um, use really good barrel crimpers. I got these at HughesHandbuilt.com. They are ratcheting, there's three sizes. A double barrel for your standard OEM style spades and for the new school ones that we're doing today, same, uh, same sitch. These, uh, the spacing is the same. They use the same crimpers width wise. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, what I found in my previous demo is for the OEM, OEM style, I use the middle crimping setting, the middle one here, that guy. Um, this, these other ones are a little smaller, so I used the smaller one. They work just fine. So I set everything up. I crimped it in, and I got the got it set on the wire. Um, uh, Jeff at Revival, who's been super helpful in all this, uh, uh, he's their support guy. Uh, he he gave me a, a video uh, that that showed the crimping and the alignment up or down, but he didn't really show the backside where the seals are. These seals look weird because they're small and and tight. Uh, to keep water out, but I couldn't figure out if I was supposed to just cram the crap through or not. And yes, you just push it right through the seal into place. The other thing is, once you crimp it, uh, imagine I've crimped this. I have the open end here, there's an open, and then there's this flat area. I put it on my wire and I crimp it. Uh, you want a good crimp that aligns everything up well, and you don't want to distort the back where it clamps onto the housing, the smaller tabs clamp on the housing. You want you know, all it to be fairly flat because it'll fuck up the alignment. It won't seat correctly if everything is over crimped or distorted. So you want good crimpers. Again, those are badass. Here's handbuilt.com for $29.50 worth every penny. Uh, I can't recommend those enough. I use them all the time um, just for fun because they're great. So I crimp this on and here's how they align. There's a locking tab. This is the male version. There's a locking tab, it sticks up. See that guy? These went together, they go together like that with the red, click. Locking tab is on top, smooth part. Here's the back end, so I'm holding it like that. There's the locking tab up top, and the smooth part is on top, and it'll go in and click into place. You'll feel a click. If it doesn't click, I did it wrong on this one, and it didn't click, and I was able to pull it back out of the back. Uh, flipped it 180, put it in, clicked. So uh, line it up so that it goes the smooth parts on top, 
aligned to that clipper there. Likewise with this end, same thing. The locking mechanism is on top. The smooth part is on top and they go in. Primo. A couple things I wanna walk over. Uh, the OM style looks like this. Make sure I'm doing this right, doing everybody justice here. This is the OEM style six part plug. You can see it's fairly flat. It's very boxy. It's white. It glows, man. You can see this thing from space. And on some of these old cafe and bobber bikes, you don't want to see your wiring very easily. So I like these because they're black. You can't see them as well. Um, they're bigger. They're narrower. They're not as fat width wise, but they're taller and they're deeper, right? Uh, so you are going to be getting a little bit more plastic, but uh, they're harder to see regardless. And they're going to keep your shit lined up and they're waterproof. Uh, and they're super high uh, amperage and heat resistant. Uh, they're made for cars, uh, old 12 volt motorcycle, no problem. Um, they sell six, they sell four, they sell fives, they sell uh, twos. Um, and they also, Revival also, I say they, Revival sells these. They also sell, when they when they give you the kit, they give you all the connectors. They give you two extra ones so you can practice, you can screw up once or twice, uh, no big deal. And they're super nice, because when I broke this other one here, the tab on it broke off. You're like, man, just come on out, we'll give you a new one, no big deal. So they gave me a new housing, and they actually gave me a walkthrough on how it's supposed to work. And, uh, yeah, Primo, man, those guys are great. Can't recommend them enough, and they're local to me, so I was able to go by their shop, and they could help me out. They've done that for me many times. Um, another tool I recommend is a really good, and I got these at Revival, really good measured uh, stripping tool. You don't need these, but the nice thing is it's got a little measuring tab on it, so I can get just a nice, consistent strip. It works really well every time. It's like Colt 45. Works really well. Um, and some really fine tip, clean needle nose pliers, because the tab that I broke off is right in there. It's an itty bitty little space, and it snapped right off with my old gross pliers. Figured if I got some nice clean ones, uh, I wouldn't have to squeeze too hard. I wouldn't have to cram it in there. And hopefully when I have to pull this, pull that whole thing out, that blue thing out, if I want to release these tabs and service them, which I don't plan on doing anytime soon, but I don't want to have to crunch this thing apart with some pliers or cut it off and then uh, splice a bunch of wire. Um, these have two tabs, so if one breaks, you got another one to do it. This one, there's only one tab uh, to pull, and that sucks. Uh, again, go back over it. Apex 2.8 high amp connector. Used to be made by Delcron. Delcron uh, was bought out by Apex, so now they're called Apex. You can find them a bunch of different places. You can buy just the single parts. Uh, Revival sells a kit. Kit's uh, uh, fairly priced. Um, and uh, they give you a couple extra spares. So you fuck up. Uh, but they don't give you a couple extra spare housings. So be careful with that. Um, uh, that's all. I hope uh, you guys have luck with that. Um, did I forget anything? Nope.